Es que me gusta todo a ti. The Velocity Crystal 5A Truly Wireless Active Noise Cancelling Earphones. Now these earphones support LE Audio LC3, APTX lossless, as well as having dual drivers for some amazing quality audio. They feature 8mm liquid silicone rubber dynamic drivers, as well as Knowles Balance Armature. They do support Qualcomm Snapdragon Audio and APTX HD for some good quality sound along with some lengthy battery life coming in at 8 hours on a single charge and up to 30 hours if you include the charging case. That's with active noise cancelling turned off. Now if you choose to have active noise cancelling enabled, you're still looking at a respectable 6 hours for the earbuds and up to 24 hours including the charging case. And that's all powered by the German Varta battery for a good power supply. Now with the LE Audio, we're actually looking at a very low latency time of only 69 milliseconds, so it's going to be great for gaming and watching videos without having that slight delay that you're going to be noticing and it's going to take you out of the experience. You should be just fine with these. They even support Pearl Spatial Audio for an even better listening experience with all your content. These ear Buds are compatible with any Bluetooth 5.3 devices, including Apple and Android phones. And they're even gonna come out with a USB Bluetooth dongle that can attach to these to make the listening experience even better with higher quality sound. Now that being said, packaging is on point, looking very nice. Popping up the magnetic flap, we are greeted with a little thank you card, including more information about the Bluetooth 5.3 transmitter, as well as a quick start guide, and this very, very nice presentation we got here with all the different size ear tips so you can get that perfect fit. Now the Velocity Crystal 5A come in two different colors, either black or white. I have the black model right here, and it's looking very nice with this matte black finish. Over here on the front of the charging case, we do have four LED indicator lights that light up and let you know how much battery charge you have left. Over on the back, we have a nice hinge along with a USB. USB-C charging port. Now the cool thing about this, not only do they have USB-C, which is very nice to see, but you can also charge this case wirelessly on any Qi charging wireless pad. Now looking at this charging case, everything is very lightweight right out of the box, and it's a very nice and compact size. As you can see, I can hold it in my hand without a problem. Now if we pop open the top, we are greeted with the earbuds themselves, also with a very nice matte black finish and a little glossy black on the inside. Now right out of the box, they are fitted with the medium sized ear tips that you can easily change out for the size that fits you best. Over here on the inside, we do have right and left indicators so you know exactly which one goes in which ear, along with some charging pin connectors. Over here on the outside, we do have the Velocity logo, and this is actually a touch sensitive area so you can control the earbuds with simple touches, presses, and taps. Over here, we do have one of the mic microphones that works for active noise cancelling as well as for phone calls and more microphones over here on this side. A very simple design with a great size and they look like they're going to be some quality earbuds. Alright so now let's get these earbuds removed from the case and get them paired up with our phone. Just like that they're showing up Crystal 5A and they instantly connect. So now without further ado let's see how well these things actually fit. Okay, the medium sized ear tips are perfect for my ears. We do have a very nice seal. Right now I can definitely hear my voice being muffled and we don't even have any music playing, nor do we have active noise canceling turned on. Very solid fit so far. Little shake test and they didn't move out of my ear whatsoever. Very nice to see. They're gonna be great for working out as well as doing some extraneous activities where you're moving around. Now as far as these earbuds go, we do have the touch sensitive area right here that controls the entire experience. Over here on the right side, you can triple tap it to activate active noise canceling and you do hear a vocal prompt that lets you know that it's turned on. You can once again triple tap it again to turn it off and it lets you know as well with a verbal prompt. Now if you triple tap the left side it actually turns on transparency mode just like so and if you triple tap it again it turns transparency mode off so that way you can hear your surroundings if you're happening to do something like maybe you're commuting on a bike and you want to hear traffic around you. Now when you want to control the audio that you're listening to you simply double tap and it starts playing music and you can double tap again to pause the music. Now adjusting the volume is also very simple. You simply tap the right one one time and it'll increase the volume. Simply tap the left one one time and it'll decrease the volume. Now let's say you're not listening to music or maybe you're listening to music but somebody calls you. You can simply double tap either side to answer a phone call and double tap either side again to hang up. Now if you want to mute your phone call while you're on the phone so the other person can't hear you, you simply long press either side and it'll mute the microphone and you can long press it again to unmute it 
When you're on a phone call, it's not possible to turn off the earphones with a long press, so that's why that'll work. You can also long press either side if you want to reject a call, and then you can double tap either side to activate your Google or Siri assistant, and that won't work when you're listening to music or on a phone call, so you have to have nothing playing if you want to talk to your assistant. Now that being said, so far testing out all these functionalities with this touch sensitive button, it's very responsive and worked every time. In my experience, sometimes with earphones with touch sensitive buttons, they don't really react all the way. Sometimes they don't register your touch and they don't work, but so far, everything is smooth. Now with that being said, I'm gonna get some music playing to see how good these things actually sound. Es que me gusta todo a ti. You know what, I will say the audio quality sounds phenomenal. Very clear, very crisp. There's not a ton of bass here, but it's a very wide sound stage, has good highs, mids, lows, just not overpowering whatsoever. Very balanced, sounds good. All right, so good news, audio and video latency is perfect. No delay whatsoever. So they were definitely right about it being extremely low. And just like that, this is a raw and unedited audio sample coming directly from the Velocity Crystal 5A earbuds directly to your ears. What you hear is what you're gonna get. I'm gonna type on this keyboard and talk a little bit and hopefully can cancel out the background noise in case you happen to be in an office working while you're on a phone call. But this is what it's gonna sound like when you're on a phone call talking to somebody else. And I can say that the phone call does sound good to me coming through my ears when I'm hearing the other person on the other line. You know what I mean. All right, and there we have it. The Velocity Crystal. Crystal 5A truly wireless earbuds. Wow, that was a good seal because now I can hear myself. Now, as far as the physical design of these earbuds go, they do have a very nice design, a very good size. They're not super big and bulky, and I really like that. They fit very well and easily into the charging case magnetically, start charging, and this case is very small and compact as well. Really, really love the overall design. Now, like I said, the fitment in my ears, perfect. I shook my head, they didn't fall out, so they'll be great for working out in the gym, running a marathon, whatever you wanna do that has your head moving around, bobbing around, and you're not gonna have to worry about them falling out, having to readjust them all the time. They fit perfectly fine. On top of that, they're very lightweight, so they don't really feel like you have this heavy thing hanging in your ear. They're very comfortable overall. Now, as far as sound quality, when listening to music, sounded great. It had a good range, a good balance, highs, mids, lows. Now, as far as the lows go, they're not overpowering, like boom. They're very balanced. You get the bass, you get everything else all in there without anything taken over the whole scene and you can definitely enjoy the experience perfectly fine. Sounds great. As far as the touch controls, I was a bit worried because I've had earphones in the past where they just don't function properly. I'm like, come on, pause, 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 it's not working. With these, no issues whatsoever. Triple taps work, double taps work, single taps work, every time, no problem. Now, audio and video latency, one of the things I hated about a lot of Bluetooth earbuds. With these, no problem, they say, as low as a 69 millisecond ping and it's definitely there. I was watching videos and boom, lips are synced up perfectly, no issues whatsoever. Sounded great, looked great, great experience overall. Now as far as phone calls, phone calls sound good coming in through the earbuds. They're in both ears so you can hear everything just fine. You're not limited to having it in one ear where it sounds weird. I always hated that so much. But also the microphone does a good job at picking up my voice and it does sound clear for the other person on the line as well. So overall the Velocity Crystal 5A earbuds have a great form factor, great lightweight design. They look good, they're easy to set up, they're very easy to use, very responsive, and they sound good. Quality earbuds right here in a pretty package.